One of the things that we're the most passionate about here at the ACLJ is making sure that all three branches stay within the bounds of their constitutional authority. There is no Republican or Democrat or independent who should want that to be otherwise because they will not always be in power. House managers delivered an article of impeachment against former President Trump to the Senate for a historic second time. 45 Republicans voted to not even have a trial. They believe it's unconstitutional to try a former president. The Chief Justice isn't there. Unconstitutional, procedurally wrong. Well, it's really not an impeachment. It's more like a political harassment trial. And then you've got 45 members of the Congress saying, you know, we don't think we even have jurisdiction to hear this. Senator Rand Paul forced a vote on the constitutionality of impeaching a former president. Paul's motion has officially put senators on the record. Right from the outset, it became clear there will likely not be enough votes to convict. The eyes are 55, the days are 45. And I guess they thought they were going to get more votes than they got the Democrats, but the end result was 45 Republicans said we shouldn't even be hearing this which means it's over before it starts, but they are going to put the country through this. Democrats are wasting the nation's time on a partisan vendetta against a man no longer in office. We launched a brand new petition, stop the unconstitutional impeachment trial in the Senate. The radical left is conducting an unconstitutional impeachment of a former president. There's nothing in the constitution that allows the Senate to do this. We're mobilizing on Capitol Hill to defend the Constitution. We'll break this up so that your senators know that you signed this. So state by state as well. So join today with us and sign the petition to end the unconstitutional Senate impeachment trial.